Disclaimer. This satirical poem is based on the illegal, immoral, and hateful actions of Paul Watson and his Sea Shepherd cronies towards the Canadian sealing industry and an unjustified attack on indigenous people. Certain situations are fictitious and have been added to bring levity and mirth to his pathetic attempts to disrupt the legal and sustainable use of natural resources by local people. The whalers, the sealers, the salmon farms too, all function sustainably. Nothing is new. They follow the laws of their sovereign nations, creating jobs out of good conservation. So why are some foul folks still doing their best, causing more trouble and raising protest? And why did they lead it in his chateau no more? His story goes on, I'll pass on this law. He lurks in Vermont, now stripped of his violence, still not possessing a captain's license. Dirty doppies he changes, they come from his child, he wipes and he washes, then leaves them in piles. All alone and forgotten, crying out for attention, promoting himself at a comic book convention. He whines and complains, he smirks and he scowls, not enough for my minions are donating now. Obscurity beckoned, the future seemed grim, but Watson's great ego reached out on a whim. I now have a plan to that will come to fruition. I'll build a sweat lodge and seek out a vision. Appropriation of cultures was nothing so new to the schemes of the poorest and his bad attitude. I must generate income, my bank accounts ravage. By all those lawsuits, I must play noble savage. He cut down some saplings, constructed a frame which was covered in blankets. This man had no shame. He built a great fire to warm up the stones, emitting much carbon to the atmosphere's home. To top it off and add to this mess, the ceremonial thief wore a tinfoil headdress. I will sweat and I'll suffer in this structure I'll stay till a spiritual guide will show me the way. Time passed in the lodge. Watson ran up a fever. Then he received a visit from Bucky the Beaver. When Watson was young, Bucky was a best friend. Yet due to some trappers, Bucky came to an end. Now his spirit returned, all misty and pale. The trap that had killed him still attached to his tail. The entrail Beaver then growled out a warning, but Watson was unused to such a stern warning. Shame on you and your minions, I see. You claim to save nature, but you didn't save me. The Vaguetta is dying, Baja dolphins extinct. You never help species so close to the brink. Instead, you spread hate on the good Faroese, the Canadian sealers, and the Japanese. The species they hunt are not critical. Their populations are stable and sustainable. One star warrior with all my ratings I'll end. The seal industry, the pups I'll defend. Watson blatted and blogged. He posted with pride, no urging he needed, and jumped into his ride. My Dodge Ram is large. I don't give a hoot about its emissions and how it pollutes. To town I will go, now I hear my war cry, one star warrior, I demand your Wi-Fi. Wielding his laptop, his fury provoked, restaurants invaded, to his minions he spoke. We need a new mission to get more attention, the white coats aren't killed, but this we won't mention. Emotion and mistruths, these both will suffice, I'm sending my wife forth to pose on the ice. She will drive away mothers, manhandling pups, harassing the seals with my plan so corrupt. Yet we need more exposure with our plan laced with shame. We'll use a Hollywood actress with fame. Michelle Rodriguez volunteered to come with to further her fame and support Watson's myth. Her qualifications were very bizarre. 
she portrayed a tree hugger in the film Aviator. Go north, all you lovelies, with your passion and zeal, now disrupt the mother's nursing their seals. His plan now in place and more money donated, Watson went back to posting about nations he hated. He ranted in rage and condemned restaurants for serving seal meat that their patrons did want. In his limited ire, all Paul failed to see, he was given the sealers free publicity. Food critics applauded, boutique sold seal clothing, his plan had backfired, Watson fell into loathing. By Neptune's great beard, Watson said with dismay, I'll get more donations, I will go and cosplay. More money I need, he grumbled and he griped, I will wear this dark jacket and give myself stripes. He primped and he posed, he went to some functions, stood for photographs, he showed his dysfunction. I am the warrior one star, a captain I'm not, I just make a persona right here on the spot. Then one day, the old Watson woke up from a snooze, logged on to Facebook and looked at the news. He grasped and he grimaced at the pictures in dread. A young indigenous person had killed a giant bowhead. So the ire and anger, it grew more and more inside of the Watson, one star warrior. He unleashed a great rant on his personal page towards all wailing nations with unbridled rage. The cursing, the damning of this youthful indigenous person defiled all the quorum. It made readers sick. In such blind emotions, or Watson failed to see that the indigenous person was feeding his community. Nevertheless, the hate speech remained. Then Paul took it down, his ego maimed. With pain in his chest, the pirate fell to the floor. He lay unconscious, his heart beat no more. The captain of cosplay had his arteries clogged by eating cheeseburgers while he angrily blogged. Watson's ghost rose as a shadow now loomed. The grim reaper had come for this hapless buffoon. He was dressed in a robe made of spotted seal skin on a pole impaled fresh pieces of grin. Dead beckoned to Watson to come with him now, but the fugitive poet let out a sad howl. You have the wrong man, my demise cannot be. I can't leave behind my donations, you see. He begged and he broke it. If you leave me alone, I'll make you a deal and compose you a poem. That was insistent. His decree was unfurled. It was clear that Paul Watson was not for this world. Yet light shone forth strong, the reaper recalled. A figure appeared. His plan was now foil. Really? He shouted with sarcastic glee. I'm Tony Milano. Now listen to me. Pope Paul the Watson, if the way you should go, I'll have no material for my next video. The suckers' donations will all but diminish. No hijinks from minions. I'll be all but finish. Oh, pathetic cult leader. I will help you. That's it, kids. I have a task to fulfill. Texas Daddy knew well how to bring Watson back. From the realm of the dead, he had such a knack. Producing a dapper sold by the infant, waving it under the nose of the pirate now spent. The stench and the stink of the contents within arose the fake captain, his, head, his heart beat again that roared in disdain, then suddenly vanished, for he knew he was routed, and he had to be banished. When Watson awoke from his frightful ordeal, Tony Milano began his appeal. Since I saved your life, can you do one thing more? Can you sell me a t-shirt from your online store? Never, said Watson, the keyboard badass. She shepherd apparel you'll never possess. I'll go back online with a clever new handle and give thumbs down to your YouTube channel. You do that, said Tony, all full of fine glee. I now have material to mock you, you see. Now let me present you with a band that's named TYR. They're a message for you 
that is very clear. Paul's mouth grasped in horror and he knelt to the floor as Harry and friends played Rome, Rainbow Warrior. Their song invoked memories that refused to cease of how all poor have been sacked from Greenpeace. O criminal, o criminal cult leader, Tony then said, go back to your home and cower in bed. You don't have the right to disrupt sealing nations or decent good people who harvest whales. End the scams and the smears, the emotion-laced lies, wearing conservation as a financial disguise. Stop your hatred, the anger, the racist rants long. Call back your minions and admit you are wrong. Watson jumped in his truck that bellowed black smoke. With malevolent wrath, he spat as he spoke. The warrior one star will have his day. I'll shape and I'll shift as I run away. As he drove to the ocean, he balked and he bloated. Then came to the beach from a cab he unloaded. Where a pirate once stood as Watson's new shape. It was that of a walrus to help him escape. Donate now, it did bellow. At last I am free. You can't have my cash and you'll never catch me. The last time he was seen was close to the land, the white cap harbor of Newfoundland. So where lives the porous? Does he still read the news? Does he visit websites and post nasty reviews? In all truth, None of us really do care, as long as he continues to avoid our affairs. Ha 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 ha!